We all know how hard it is to buy a home in Southern California, but even if you're able to make the finances work, the new challenge could be getting insurance. Homeowners telling the NBC 4i team they're being dropped by their insurance companies, leaving them with few options. Our investigative reporter Lolita Lopez takes a new look at a new court ruling that aims to give people more coverage options. Considering that your home is, you know, probably the most important purchase of your entire life, to find out that you can't get it insured is kind of crazy. Allison Rosenberg from Marina Del Rey finds herself at an insurance crossroads, telling us her longtime insurance company recently dropped her coverage. I got an email from them because of uh, previous claims that I've made, three claims in 10 years, that they could no longer insure me and that they would not renew my policy when it expired in January. So she started contacting other insurance companies. It seems like you thought it would be easier. Yeah, I mean, I hit, a, I hit the wall pretty quickly. With no takers, Allison is now turning to the California Fair Plan. Created years back, it is known as the state's insurer of last resort. Comprised of all insurers licensed in California, it provides basic hazard coverage when homeowners are unable to get other policies. But last resort yeah. seems to be first and only nowadays. Data obtained by the I-Team from the Fair Plan shows total Fair Plan policies in the state have more than doubled from 2018 through 2022 and increased to more than 341,000 policies as of October of last year. It's a mess. It's not the way it should be, and we're trying to fix it, um, but it's, it's, it's tough. Amy Bach is with the nonprofit group United Policyholders based out of the Bay Area, an organization trying to help homeowners like Allison navigate the insurance options. There's 40% of consumers right now that have just fair plan. And Only that fire insurance that's and nothing That's all they have. Okay. The toilet overflows, sorry, somebody breaks in, uh, any of that. You know, washer hose comes off from the house, gets uh, nothing. Carl Sussman is an insurance agent with decades in the industry. He says a court ruling from November supports an order by the insurance commissioner requiring insurers within the fair plan to expand what they offer in terms of coverage. But Sussman says it's not that easy. Even if they accepted that, we could be talking about years before there's actually a change. Remember, wow. fair plan doesn't know how to price theft, mm -hmm. liability. How do they know how to price slip and falls? No idea. They've, they've never done it before. A representative from the fair plan told the I team the fair plan will carefully review the court's ruling and its potential impact on fair plan policy holders and the insurance marketplace in light of the current state of California's property insurance market. In the meantime, they point to their home hardening discounts. There's two discounts. One one has to do with things you can do to your home, things like closing the eaves off, things like that, putting a fire resistive um, over the chimney, right, a spark resistor. And then there's another discount for clearing area around your house. Mm. So between the two discounts, you can get 14.5% off of the fair plan's price. Sussman adds, for the first time, insurers are using technology to predict fire risk and other data to calculate rates. You could literally pay one rate for one house and two houses down the rate, again, with the fair plan plan could be different. And there's no sugarcoating it. The process to get insurance, especially on the fair plan, is time consuming. So tip one, start looking early. The fair plan is drowning in applications and they, it, you know, it's taking like sometimes a week or two weeks just to get the policy bound. Tip two, know what you can afford and consider cutting non-essential coverages. If it will make your premium more affordable to reduce the amount of coverage that you have on your contents, your stuff, not your house, keep that full, you know, maybe shave off on your personal property, maybe, um, you know, increase your deductible. Tip three, get an experienced insurance broker who can help find options. As a consumer, you can purchase the fair plan directly from fair plan or through a broker. The cost is identical and brokers are not permitted to charge fees for that. Check with brokers, ask them straight out, say how many carriers do you have access to? As for Allison, she is still looking at all of her her options before her current insurance lapses at the end of the month. Do you have any advice for other people who might be in your boat, knowing everything you've done? I would say just get insured through Fair Plan. I'll take what I can get at this point.
Sussman says Governor Newsom and the State Department of Insurance recently put in place new guidelines to get insurance carriers to start writing more policies, but you guessed it, he says that is going to take some time. So for now, if you have an insurance policy, hold on to it. Do not let it lapse and perhaps put your payments on auto pay. Amy Bach also tells us avoid making small claims. They can impact your risk score and insurance options and it'll cost you. We will put some more tips from her group on our website. That's NBCLA.com. Just go to the investigations page. Annabelle Colleen. Thank you very much for that, Lolita.